Hello everyone. Welcome to the sample of examinee's descriptive questionnaire for ELLNA with sample answer sheet. It is written in English. By Teacher J.M. Disclaimer. The information provided by the presenter on this video is for general informational purposes only, to help pupils to review for the upcoming early language, literacy, and numeracy assessment. All information is provided in good faith. However, we make no representation or warranty of any kind, express or implied, regarding the accuracy, adequacy, validity, reliability, availability, or completeness of this information. Thank you. Let's read the directions. This questionnaire is not a test. It consists of 12 items asking information about yourself, your teachers, and your school. Some items require more than one answer. Read and answer each question. In your answer sheet, blacken the circle which contains the letter of your answer. Do not leave any item unanswered. Below is an example of an answer sheet for examinee's descriptive questionnaire. Again, this is just an example. 1. Which of the following problems has affected your studies? A. Lingering illness. B. Financial problem. C. Rigid school rules and regulations. D. Family problem. E. Emotional problem. F. Mental torture. G. Cannot understand the lessons because presentation is very fast. H. Limited access to learning resources. I. Distance of school from home. 2. Before you enter grade 1, which of the following preschools have you entered? A. Daycare center. B. Private nursery school. C. Kindergarten and private school. D. Kindergarten and public school. E. None of the above. 3. What reading materials do you have at home that could help you in your studies? A. Textbooks given by the school. B. Textbooks and newspapers. C. Textbooks, supplementary books, newspapers, and magazines. D. Textbooks, supplementary books, newspapers, magazines, and dictionary. E. Textbooks, supplementary books, newspapers, magazines, dictionary, and encyclopedia. F. None of the above. 4. What broadcast media and electronic communication facilities do you have at home which you think have helped you in your studies? A. Radio. B. Radio and television set. C. Radio, television set, and telephone or cell phone. D. Radio, television set, telephone or cell phone and computer unit. E. Computer unit with internet connections or subscriptions. F. None of the above. 5. Which of the following classes do you belong? A. Morning session. B. Afternoon session. C. Morning and afternoon session. D. Night Session 6. Were you given remedial instruction in Grade 1? A. Yes. B. No. 7. If yes, what subject or subjects? A. English only. B. Science only. C. Math only. D. English and science only. E. English and math. F. Science and Math. G. English, Science and Math. 8. Which of the following methods was usually used by your teachers in reteaching your unmastered lessons? A. Giving examples. B. Explaining the lessons clearly. C. Using several teaching devices. D. Giving varied examples on board or on our seats. E. Reading them in the book then asking questions. F. Reading the lesson on the board then asking questions. G. Grouping students then letting students answer problems. H. Grouping students then letting students dramatize the lesson. I. Giving assignment then asking questions about the assignment. A. Assigning a lesson, the letting students discuss on the next day. 9. How many are you, children, in the family? A. Only child. B. 2. C. 3. D. 
d4, e5, f6, g7, h8, i more than 8. 10. Which of the following is the main source of income of your family? A. Salary from domestic employment. B. Salary from employment abroad. C. Family business. D. Income from farming or fishing. E. Both farming or fishing and business. 11. Which of the following is done mostly by people who support you in your studies? A. Assisting me in my homeworks or projects. B. Not attending to my needs and problems in school. C. Conducting research work to answer my homeworks. D. Providing educational materials such as reference books. E. Tutoring me to help me cope with my learning deficiencies. F. Checking me always if I have studied or done my assignment. 12. Which of the following teaching strategies is often used by your English teachers from grade 1 to present? A. Conducting lecture, followed by question and answer technique to check if we have understood the lesson. B. Reading the subject matter from the book then followed by question and answer technique. C. Presenting first the concept or theory followed by a variety of examples and or situational roles, and then application of concept. D. Reading the subject matter written on the boards or manila paper, followed by discussion, and followed by question and answer technique. E. Presenting varied examples of situational cases first followed by the generalization of concept. F. Presenting the lesson with unlocking of difficulties or vocabulary building and use of teaching devices such as concrete materials. G. Lesson in one subject and integrated with concepts from other subject areas. H. Conducting discovery approach or experimental technique by group of students to solve a problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you again next video.